good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going on an insane toy hunt when i say insane uh, you guys will see what we find at the end of the video of course you're going to find out what all we found which is which is pretty incredible to be honest with you man but this toy hunt was super duper stressful i don't know if you guys have ever been on a stressful toy hunt but my god this one was stressful we were out of town so first of all i don't know the area it's raining like hell it's storming like hell it stormed all day long and it was a it was a three it was supposed to be like a three hour drive it turned into like a five hour drive with the stops and the traffic and the weather i couldn't see i had to pull over it was horrific and in the middle of this entire storm, I'm going toy hunting. So you guys will find out all about that and see how I feel throughout. But it was a pretty shocking, we found some shocking-ish. You're going to find out here today, man. But I don't want to speak on it any longer. I want to get into the toy hunt and showcase what we found, man. So let's shut the hell up, dive into the toy hunt, and you can join me as I journey clip to clip, store to store, with all the in-betweens, man. Let's get into it. Hopefully we find some good-ish. I'll see you back here for what we got on our toy hunt. All right, guys, here we go. Store number one. This section is so weird. It's like in the back part of the Walmart. I have no idea what's going on here, man. But it looks like we got some, I mean, some decent little stuff right here. We got some AEW and Match Series number one right here. Britt Baker, Unrivaled Collection Series number seven. Looking for the Chase variants, of course. You know, it seems to be pretty picked over, so I don't I don't expect anything. Got some Miro over there. Little Young Bucks, Nyla Rose. Got some Cody over there. More Bucks, FTR in the house. Nyla Rose again. More Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson going on. No Chase variant figure, of course not. Got some Roman Reigns right here. I think that's the first time I've seen that figure at retail. Looks like we got pretty much, what, four of the same battle pack. Tons of Scarlet figures over here. Got three of the regular, two, three. Three of the Chase variants. So three regulars, three Chase variant Scarlets. Pretty insane, actually, to, to find that, but... I mean, not much else going on with it. I don't see anything up top or anything, but look at the, like, why's the exit right here? It's like in the back right corner of this store, but seeing Roman Reigns is pretty cool at retail. I, I haven't seen this figure just yet. Already on clearance, not even clearance really, it's like 20, but you know what? Kind of a cool first find. All right, guys, store number two. I'm walking in the freaking rain. It's storming like a hoe outside, my God, but I think we're gonna find some pretty good ish over here, hopefully, at least, you know. That, that, that when, I, when I run in from outside the rain, bro, the last thing I want to do is not find anything at the store, you know? So, I don't know if you guys can relate. You're stumbling through the storm. Right now, there's a bunch of hell going on right now. I tried to record some clips. We'll see if I can plug them into the video or whatever, but we're going to walk over here to the toy aisle. You ever go into a random Walmart? I'm in a random Walmart right now. I have no idea where the figures are or anything. You know, you got to scout it out a little bit. you got to figure out the placement of it. You walk in, you look around, you find the placement of it, and then you go over to the section. But I'll see you guys when we get to the aisle. I got a little ways away here, but I'll, I'll hit you guys when we get to the aisle over there. So we got over here and just a big old pile of shit. What are we looking at over here, man? It's about drive. It's about power. It's about these shitty figures at this hour. Look at this right here. Tons of China. Tons of Trish. We got the same boss man battle pack. Ramen. I mean, oh my. God, I, at least let me find the Roddy Piper. You know, let me let me find the Roddy Piper. We found JoJo's Nanian, is what he loves to call him. He doesn't even know his real name. He just call, he refers to him as Alien, but he calls him Nanian. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Got some Buzz Lightyear and Woody action going on. This is insane, man. When you just, with the, like, it's just so frustrating. When you, go through the, when you go through the grind and you go through the daily hustle, trying to find these figures, and you can't find them anywhere. And you go in here to a random Walmart when it's storming, when you're stressed the hell out, and you're going all over the place, and you can't find nothing. I'm trying to see if I can see anything behind a, behind a thing, or, you know, what's this down here? Oh my god. We found family. Good old Dom Toretto in the flesh there. I cannot find this Sting figure, man. I gotta find the Sting figure. I, I can't find it. Maybe we'll find it before the end of the toy hunt, but this was a total bust. This is definitely worse than the last store. Not a ton of stuff going on. Only one Elite figure in the rock there. More Scarlet, Karrion Cross, Shawn Michaels. Oh, we got a little Dexter Loomis action. I don't really care for him, so I'm not gonna grab it. Probably will, will regret it in a year, but there's Shawn Michaels again, but damn, what a bust. All right, guys, on to store number three. We're at our first target. Look at this little end cap I found right here. Tons of Britt Baker. We got Dustin over here, too. Don't forget about Dustin, but look at the amount of Britt Bakers. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven Britt Bakers, not one Chase variant figure. This tells me that, what, they had to have gotten, what, seven cases of Unmatched Series number one? Which is in insane, but look how random it is. It's not even on the WWE figure aisle. You got, like, board games and random stuff going on. We're not even in the WWE or AEW action figure section. Not even in the action figure section, so I thought that was pretty insanity. But uh, that, that's pretty crazy to find seven Britt Bakers over here chilling. We're still looking for the WWE and AEW action figure aisle, so we will have to make our way over there. Oh, what do we got over here? We got some NECA stuff going on. Looking for those AEW cards as well. Trying to find those AEW cards. There's some WWE over there. Still haven't found the AEW cards whatsoever. But uh, we got some different stuff going on. I don't really collect these lines. I collect some... Oh, what do we got over here? We got a little Kane Ultimate Edition action hiding in the back over here. Somebody trying to stuff away a Kane. This this is uh, this is a pretty big score right here. I, I thought about picking this up every time I see it at retail. I don't know. This may be the running change too. I, I haven't looked closely, but we'll have to check that out. Don't think I see anything else chilling back there, but let's go find the actual aisle. All right, guys, we finally found it right here, and holy crap. What a section, man. They are absolutely loaded. Tons of Kane Ultimate Edition. I guess the person didn't really have to hide it, but you got some Junkyard Dog over here. We got some Roman Reigns. Unrivaled Series 4, Unrivaled Series 5, Kazarian a little busted. Got some Miro, Unmatched 1. Ooh, a Kenny Omega from Unmatched Series 1. Another, another Britt Baker. That makes number 8. Two Miros, two Kennys. Or is that one Kenny over there? We got some ATV Big E figure going on. Dude, tons of figures, man. This is insane. We got Elite 88 in the house. We got MVP. You got Rey Mysterio, Matt Riddle, Trish Stratus over there. Is it Elite 88 or Elite 87? I want to say it's Elite Series 88, but got Miro back again. Kenny Omega. We got some Survivor Series Bailey. Still haven't found the other from that set. Every time I see that set, it's always Bailey. The Big Dog chilling. Got tons of Big Dog figures. Jesus Christ. We got Goldberg top picks. Okay, we got the other Roman Reigns. And then we have the other Roman Reigns. So we have three different Roman Reigns figures chilling here at the Target. So you guys can see there, you got the top picks. You got the Elite 88. And then you have the other top picks there. So three different eras of Roman right there. Kind of cool. I guess not completely three different eras, but you guys get the point. Three different mock Roman Reigns figures just chilling here. Zelina Vega, what is... Are you kidding me? A Billy K Collector's Edition. So the figures just keep piling up, man. There's tons of figures at this store. I've always thought about grabbing this, but it's basically a basic figure. So I don't know if I want to grab it. Got some Hurricane chilling back there. Do have Bob Orton. Got top picks Hardy. Junkyard Dog Chase variant. I can't remember if it's the blue or the red that's the chase. I want to say it's the blue one, but got that chilling. You got Triple H, Bob Orton again, Billy Gunn right there. If you want the little DX two-pack there, you got Kushida in the house. I mean, dude, this is what you love to see right here. Tons of figures. You got AEW represented. You got some legends over here, Ultimate Editions. Tons of different variety. I don't think I've seen a store this stacked in a very long time. This is insane. I'm glad I got this on film. This is excellent. Top picks, elites. I mean, we can do the rounds over here, see if we find anything chilling. I hate that, you know, they, I feel like if Sting was a Walmart exclusive. Are you kidding me? Look at the legends. There's a million legends figures over here. You got a million Hurricane. You got a million Jake the Snake over here. Do we have the Chase variant? Any Chase variant, Jake the Snake over here. Okay, five Jakes, no, no Chases there. But tons of Hurricane, tons of Bob Orton. Tons of Triple H, man. Look at all these Legends figures, bro. There's so many figures. Just insane. But I want to do the rounds over here. This kind of sucks because you would think that if you could, you know, if if the Sting was Target exclusive, I feel like this would have been the store to have it, right? It would have been warming the pegs. There would have been tons over here. But got a little shocker action. I thought about grabbing that figure for a while. But really insane, man. I mean, this is what we love to see. I'm just dumbfounded at how nice this store is. I mean, this is the kind of stuff. This puts smiles on faces. This is what you want to see when you walk into a store. I would never be disappointed with the amount of selection here. I mean, you got to have like 25 different superstars to select from here. Great stuff right there. All right, guys, we're here at the last stop. We got Walmart. Are we going to have success? I see some AEW, but it doesn't look like we're going to be in any luck. You got some more on Match Series 1. Sheeta back here. We got some Cody's. Nice. Miro. More Miro. 
I mean, God in heaven, man. Jake Hager, you got some Goldberg. Dude, Goldberg is warming the pegs, man. Hate to say it, but Goldberg's warming the pegs. Jeff Hardy a little warm there. I'm sure those will fly off in due time, but, I mean, you got a decent little selection right here. I mean, what is this? I don't even see AEW on this thing. It looks like it's all OMG and lollipops and stuff like that. I don't see any sort of wrestling figures. Fashion dolls. Love that. I mean, I love that. You got Apollo Crews over here. Got both of them, Chase Variant and Non. You know, SummerSlam Basics, pretty garb. Bailey over there, always here. Big E top picks. We got some AEW belts. I mean, Jesus, man, I really want to find that Sting. You got a little Masters of the WWE Universe there, but I'm not seeing any Stings. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, a little calendar action. I actually need to put this up. Mine's like from 2020, so I probably need to get this. But look at that. Half the damn calendar's released. At least two of them there. But seriously, though, uh, I, I really do need to get that. But I think it's a bust, man. It's all the way around. I haven't found the AEW cards yet. I'm going to swing by the cards, see if they have those. But if not, I will see you guys back at the crib for the review there. But no stings, man. Still no stings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back home after the toy hunt, and I must say, did you see the bull crap? Did you see the ish? We obviously did not find the sting that I wanted to find. I set out to find the Luminaries Collection AEW Walmart exclusive sting. I, it evades me every single day. I look every day in my area. It's never there. It's never there. I, I look, I look. I've been to multiple Walmarts. Every single time I get on social media, two to three people post a chase sting from Unmatched Series 2. I haven't even seen Unmatched Series 2. I see Luminaries Collection every day, but let's shut the hell up and find out what MDT bought on this toy hunt. So, if you guys know me, I, every single time I put this figure on video, I always say, I need this figure new. So, since we found two of them, I grabbed two of the Elite Series 88 Rey Mysterio because mine has, I actually have my third one right here, which is perfect for this opportunity uh right here man look at this just unacceptable so we're going to definitely fix this guy up with our others i wish he had the double joint arms of course but i had to get a couple of those so i went ahead and grabbed the ray mysterious for fix up purposes i love this gear a lot of people love this figure so i figured why not go ahead and uh grab a couple of those for fix ups and stuff with all the rays we're getting it's a perfect opportunity i got to see not only elite 88 but we saw some elite 89 not the full way but a couple figures there it was cool to see roman reigns in the flesh and nia jacks over there didn't see any others but uh that was pretty interesting right there we did grab some other stuff and the other thing that we found all right you guys may already know what we grabbed but we grabbed another unmatched kenny omega of course you guys know my rules i usually buy every single one of these that i find at retail like if i find this at retail i usually purchase it but there were three of them and i just couldn't do it man i wasn't gonna do it i let somebody else actually find a kenny omega this time so i left two back at the store but at least i bought one of them you know so this will make like i don't know number eight maybe uh, of the mock unmatched series one kenny omega somebody help me please god again i have a rule like i, I kind of you know I, if i see kenny omega at retail i go ahead and grab it but at this juncture man since there was three of them i just couldn't pull the trigger on it it just didn't make a lot of sense to go ahead and buy all three of those you saw on ultimate dude that target can we talk about that target that target was absolutely stacked i have not seen a store that stacked since toys r us like it was it looked like a that like, that's what we love to see man aew figures there wwe figures there all kinds of different you got the legends you got the top picks you got the ultimates you got the unmatched you got the unrivaled i mean that is how you want a story you saw all those legends there was a, there was literally a hundred plus wwe slash aew figures there we saw all those brit bakers that was all in one store that was unbelievable so that was definitely incredible but i also finally got my ultimate edition 12 fiend and alexa bliss figure so these are going to be up on the channel very soon i don't know if i'm going to do a separate review for both of them like alexa bliss ultimate review fiend ultimate review you guys can let me know down in the comment section below but holy shish finally have these very excited to review them for you guys but i think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt we got the two rays and we got the kenny but that was that was some incredible stores that we found today and that one walmart what was up with that one walmart like where the section was like in the very corner of the store i've never seen anything like that before that was pretty in insane as well but I want to know what you guys thought of the toy hunt down in the comment section below. What would you have grabbed? Uh, did I do good on mine? I wanted to leave a lot of other stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, I really want
wanted to buy another riddle. I wanted to buy another ultimate cane. I wanted to buy some more of the uh, the elites we saw there from Elite Series 88, but I decided to leave them, you know, uh, buy the rays, get the rest out there. And uh, since I needed mine, because but my I had the loose torso, so I wanted to, you know, fix mine there. And then I, I left some Kenny Omega. There was plenty, I, I left a lot of stuff on the table there for plenty of collectors. And uh, I'm excited to see, you know, uh, what, the, what it holds next time for those stores. But I'm getting out of here, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the toy hunt. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. What would you have grabbed? Let me know all those things, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Don't cross the line like me when I have uh, eight unmatched Kenny Omega mock figures, as well as like four of them loose. You cross the line.